Anyway, I'm going to start out with by using UTC-70 and light olive. I'm just going to dress the, the whole shank and the tail on this is going to be cooked by their own fibers um, seven or eight of them. See I've got the fibers and I'm going to tie those in approximately the length of the body. So I'm going to take those and I'm going to wrap those all the way up the body. Now the body on this fly is made from Fly Tires Dungeon Legs Alive or Span Flex or, or some of the one of those uh, flexible type materials um, but this is just an olive color and I'm going to tie it in right here at the head and then kind of stretch it as I move it back that way there's minimal bulk and then I'm just going to take my thread all the way back up and uh, I'm going to use the rotary function now here's a little trick for rotary tires who don't want to use the bobbin cradle if you hold your material like this, you can take your pinky and hold your pinky out like this as a bobbin cradle. It's a kind of a fast forward step to doing rotary style flies. Now I'm going to let the tension off as I go forward to kind of create a little bit of a taper. You see that's a really thin profile body, which is what you want. Just going to tie that off. Now typically on a nymph we do a wing case and legs and all that stuff, but we're going to kind of forego that stuff for this, this style fly. All I'm going to do is I'm going to make a dubbing loop of Arizona Synthetic Dub. And it's going to be a really sparse, really thin dubbing loop. You can use colors like the Golden Peacock or, or things like that. Um, so I'm just going to grab a little bit of the synthetic dub. This one's a custom color that I got from, from John Romer. But any of the olive colors that he has will work as well. So really not a very long dubbing loop. You can see that's just about two lengths of the body. I'll just spin those up. And wrap that onto the head. See, I'm preening all those fibers back. Okay, now uh, I'm going to take this. Uh, dubbing and I'm just going to tease it out and it kind of makes almost like a soft hackle style collar around the fly. So just a super buggy little fly. Um, the last time we fished it we were stripping it through some beaver ponds and rookies were all over it. We've used it on a check rig and it's worked well. Uh, this is a size 10, but it works all the way down to size 16 and 18. So as you can see, when it gets wet, it really tapers down and takes that shape of a nymph. And those, those fibers will move all around.